Hey, hey, my name is Sharon Enyos. I'm a five-time world champion boxer. I'm an independent mum of four gorgeous little boys who I get to homeschool every single day so I can help them grow up and have an incredible life. I run my own business where I get to show people how to make an incredible income utilizing social media. And my biggest, biggest, biggest passion, even if those three aren't enough, my biggest passion is being able to give back to communities and to people that can't actually help themselves. So this video is a short little video to explain a little bit about what's going on in Uganda. We have got young girls over there who are either raped, molested, um, or been in a relationship. And once they've fallen pregnant from either of those three have ended up um, being thrown out of home. For me, when I think about a young girl as young as 13, this is as young as 13, as soon as I hear about something like that, it makes me wonder how I can help. Now, these girls are thrown out of home, they're completely disowned by their families, and when I look at my children, I would hate to think that at such a young age, that would ever happen, and a majority of the time, this is not by a cause of their own action. So, what we need to do, or what I'm, what Sharon and your Senior Corner Charity is all about, is being able to create a fund where we can support these girls. There's already Hope for Women in Crisis up and running in Uganda, where they home the girls for um, from when they come in, as soon as they find out they're pregnant, and they teach these girls a skill. They get them back into school, they help build their self-esteem. Hope for Women in Crisis, the main part of this is hope. These girls have got no hope at all. They've got nothing left. So my goal, um, coming from out of Australia, is to be able to bring as many people together as I can to have some form of contribution towards this. So they, these girls come together, they live in a house together, they go through their pregnancy, they're learning trades, going back to school, being able to learn how to do things so when they finish, or well, not when they finish, but when they have their child, um, they stay at Hope for Women in Crisis for another three months, but then they can go and live and be able to sustain themselves and their child. Um, the other option in Uganda, because some people might say, why don't they just terminate the pregnancy? They don't have the medical, medical facilities that we do here, um, or in most of the countries that we have. These girls, the only way they could remove a baby out of, their, out of their body is by a backyard abortion. And that normally means, I don't know how many times my phone has rang with my friend over in Uganda crying her eyes out saying, Sharon, another young girl, she's 14, or she's 13, or she's 15, has like hemorrhage to death going to hospital by trying to abort her child to be able to go back to her parents. So, you know, this one, it breaks my heart. Two, there is something we can do about it, you know, and it's not, when I talk about being able to contribute, some people may be able to contribute a certain amount of money every single month for the next 12 months. Some people may say, hey, I've got this skill, I can do this. You know, we're planning a trip over to Uganda in the um, early first um, three months of next year around about March or April, sorry, which is really, really exciting to be able to get on the ground with these girls and be able to help work with them. Now, in Uganda, they can only house 10 girls, right? So just to give you, I've got all the figures right here, but to house 10 girls um, and have a nurse at the home, you know, it, if you want to know any more about this more in depth on Sharon and your in your corner charity page there's some um, live videos that I've done which goes right into depth about all this but I'm reaching out to you because you shared an interest to want to know more um, to house the 10 girls make sure there's Wi-Fi on the property so Lizette can communicate all over the world and communicate to us and to other people and for us to be able to work back with these girls and be able to do things online to help them as well we need to make sure there's Wi-Fi in there and obviously a nurse so um, to make sure that all the whatever antibiotics need to be distributed can be distributed to these girls because otherwise it's like a six hour trip from where they are to the hospital to stay at the hospital wait and then come back home which is a lot of time for Lizette or one of the girls from the um, crisis center to be able to spend with one on one with one person so um, just to give you an idea the cost to, to house 10 girls is two thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars and ninety six cents we've worked it out like how much it costs to feed them what we need for formula prep them for, with, with nappies what do we need for clothes like how do we like how do we just serve these girls on the most basic level possible right so um, now I've worked that out some people might come to me and say you know what Sharon I can give you like you know a hundred bucks a month some might say 20 bucks some might say 10 some might say five so I've just thought if I I find um, $10 a month, like that's $2.50 a week, and some, some months it's even less. At $2.50 a week, you could significantly make a difference to a life of someone that could never help themselves. Now, these are young girls they're talking about, whether it's girls or boys, I don't care, but this to me is so important. So if I could get 285 people to donate $10 each, then that would be a huge step to just being able to save 
10 girls and get them, you know, in the right head frame, understand that they are incredible little creatures and they can do this and they can go and learn a trade and be able to look after themselves and their baby and not feel ashamed or disgusted or worthless in their life. So if this sounds, you know, we've got other projects coming on as well, which I'd love to share. We've got enough to house, I think, 12 girls at the moment. Um, and so far, we're at, we've got eight girls in there and there's five waiting to get in. There's probably a lot more than five. So our big goals in the next 12 months is to actually build another house. Uh, at the moment, they rent. So I will do another video about that later. Right now, these girls, they don't even have food. I've just sent more money out of my bank account to these girls just to put food on their table. So if this sounds like it resonates with you in any way and you're looking for a way to be able to contribute because life is about giving, not about getting. So if you're looking for a way to contribute and make a difference and not because it's going to make your tax bill look better but because you've got a heart and you know that giving, the, the purpose of living is to give, please send me a message or respond to this video um, and I'd be excited to share some more and get it, find a way to help you get started by promo, um, sharing a, a monthly amount into our bank account. Have an incredible day and thank you very much for taking the time to check this out. Ciao, ciao.